I want to tell you about my intermittent fasting experience so far. I'm eating two meals a day, breakfast and lunch, and this is day 11 for me. So it started because I was getting super stressed, uh, lack of sleep, and I think the culmination of all that was just making me really hungry at night. Like I was binge eating. I couldn't stop, and then I, I would feel very unsatisfied after I ate all that food, and then go to sleep. Oh, I'm not going to do it again, and then I would do it again. I, I don't know how long that lasted, a short time, until I was like, I, I'm an intermittent fast. So that's what I've been doing. Um, uh, here's some, some benefits or some things that I noticed. I was drinking more water. Probably by the first day, I was just getting way more thirsty. And then not long after that, I also noticed that, you know those intense hunger pains you get because you're, you know, you're waiting for the next meal? They were gone. Uh, maybe a slight feel like I'm hungry or I it's dinner time so I should be eating something but it wasn't like that intense pain like I'm not gonna make it to my next meal <laughs> feel so that was really cool um, so this is a plant-based intermittent fasting I am doing and uh, I was just thinking like how am I gonna last on two meals uh, when it started I was on like the, the schools that I teach at have lots of holidays so it, it was kind of easy to start with because I was eating like 9 a.m. and then 3 p.m. so it spaced it out pretty nicely but then I thought you know when when things get back on a normal schedule am I gonna last eating lunch so early um, and I actually found out very soon because at church we were eating lunch at 12 and I made it the rest of the day it was it was the same like I would have eaten at um, at three. Um, another thing that I thought or was worried about is like, yeah, I'm not gonna, how will I make it without the, the third meal? And so I think I tried to eat more. Um, I realized though, it's not really about quantity, but quality. So I don't think I have to eat like so much more, like not like I have to pack in three meals into two meals now. Um, but it's really like me, I'm actually more conscious of what I'm eating now. Um, so I think, okay, well I have two meals. I got to put some good things in those meals to make it, uh, make me full and yeah, make, make it last longer. So for example, adding more whole grains or, uh, beans, nuts, these, these things I'm finding are, are, keeping me satisfied for much longer. And actually, look this up. Um, beans, second meal effect. So beans are supposed to have the second meal effect. Um, also, I didn't weigh myself like when I started, and I can't remember when I weighed myself, maybe within the last month or two, but uh, I weighed myself three days ago. It's Friday and I weighed myself on Tuesday. Uh, and I lost one kilogram. So I don't know what that's due to, but maybe you can lose weight off of this too, uh, which is about a little over two pounds. Though I feel like I gained weight, I feel fatter, but the scale said so. So uh, I, it also saves me on time because I'm not prepping for another meal. And I'm thinking it saves me on money too because I'm not eating as much, which, I wasn't sure because I think I was trying to pack more food into each meal, but I think it was more side dishes, so I think that I'm saving more money. But eating out, it's saving because uh, I like to eat at this one restaurant and dinner is twice the price as lunch, so in that area, I am saving. <laughs> so yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything when I'm skipping dinner now. And just from this list that I shared with you, uh, I see nothing but benefits. So drinking more water, losing weight, saving time, saving money, uh, no hunger pains, and just being more conscious about the things that I'm putting into my body so that it's being fueled properly. And I just think intermittent fasting is so good and it's something that I wanna continue doing.